Hi guys! Okay, so welcome to week four of the Kill a Kit collab that Poet Spice is having. Um, okay, so I worked a little bit from this one, this paper pad right here. And um, so this is all I have left of this one. And I am going to be changing up my kit. I don't want to use any more of this for right now because I am working on a complete 12 by 12 um, album and it's all off of this paper pad. So I don't want to use any more until I know that I have enough, if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to take a break from this one and I will be doing a separate video showing my new um, kit. I put together a whole new kit so I will be showing that in a separate video. So this week Jamie kind of um, challenged us to do, um, do a project um, that we've never done before and um, to use buttons. So I accepted that challenge, and um, I will be showing that on my, um, my main project. But um, to start off with, I'm going to share what I did with this paper pad right here. I just made another one of those little mini things, and I used up a bunch of the uh, chipboard. As far as my embellishments um, went, that bag of embellishments, I'm almost through with those. So um, I pretty much killed that. So here um, is the cover. I have this green chipboard um, glittered arrow and it says hello and it's got the camera and some of those um, epoxy dots and there's one page here's another using those project life cards again some more epoxy dots this one has one of the music notes this one just says love this and then here is a um, um, paint sample chip another one of those Dimensional card st stock um, stickers. Back side of that, the glittery stars. A little donut <laughs> that goes at the top of that one. Another um, paint sample. This one says joy. And then there's the back one of that. Okay, so I did that. And then for my um, main project, I made these humongous rosettes. Uh, I made a white one. There's the white one. And then I did a smaller blue one. And then I did this pink one. And I stacked them all together, kind of like. <laughs> and um, just decorated them. This is going to go on my wall in my craft room. So I've never made rosettes this big. And then here are my buttons. I used a purple one right there, a white one right there, and then a pink one right there. So let me put this down so that you guys can see it better. And maybe I should try zooming a little and adjusting. So um, right here on the bottom rosette, I did the blue, and it has the pink flowers. So they all three papers have the pink flowers, okay, the pink roses. Very stark, still glue strands. I need to um, get my blow dryer on it. Um, these flowers came from Shishi. Hi, Shishi. She granted my wish um, a little while ago, and uh, my wish was for some handmade flowers. And she made these, oh my gosh, you guys. You have to go check out her flower tutorials and her um, just her channel. She makes the most beautiful flowers ever. I love them. So I used those, and as you can see, they're kind of cascading. Let me zoom back out so you can see. They're kind of cascading from the top up here all the way down. And then so on the pink one, I just have this blue um, floral. You really can't see that it's floral, but it's floral. Blue and green floral um, sheer ribbon on the pink. And then I have a butterfly, one of those butterflies. And I have some spray sticking out right there. And then on the top one, I have a big white doily. See how the flowers cascade? Another one of those butterflies. This uh, last sticker in that pack that says lovely. And a pink button. And then this big um, fabric flower. Let me turn it around so you guys can see better. That was gifted to me by my friend Stacy, who is Lambert Creations 26 here on YouTube. Hi, Stacy. Um, she sent me a bunch of um, happy mail one day, and these were some of the flowers. So I really wanted to use the flowers that were gifted to me. Um, on projects that are going to go and stay with me, unless it's going to somebody really dear, like my mom or something, then um, I will um, use them if I feel like the project really needs it. But 
other than that, I try to keep everything that people have um, gifted me. So, yeah. So that is my rosettes. I love them. I hope you guys like them. I hope you guys can really see what they look like. Um, I'm going to make this my thumbnail picture so you guys can get a better, a better um, view of it. But that's it. So, yeah, that paper pad's almost done. Um, this one is pretty much almost done. This is a brand new pad at 120 sheets. So it's, it's kind of there. I'll work on that one some more too. But, um, yeah, as far as that big one that I really wanted to go through, I think I'm probably going to be able to finish that up by the time that um, album is done. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my updated um, Killikit. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.